If you have ever asked yourself, is ChatGPT safe to use? You're not alone. In this video, I will answer your biggest safety concerns, explain what ChatGPT can and cannot do, what information it knows and does not know about you, and show you how to use it confidently while feeling and doing it safely. And the good news, I've created a simple, downloadable ChatGPT safety checklist that you can download and print for free. I will tell you at the end of this video how you can get it. So you do not have to take notes, just listen and enjoy. And welcome to Smart Tech for Any Age. No tech talk, just real, simple answers. Let's go. Let's start with some of the biggest questions I hear from folks like you who are curious but cautious about AI tools like ChatGPT. Can it steal my information? Nope, ChatGPT cannot steal information because it doesn't actually have access to any of your private data. It only sees and knows what you type in the chat box. If you don't give it any personal information, it does not know anything about you. You stay in control. Will it know everything about me? Not at all. ChatGPT does not know who you are. It does not remember our past chats unless you logged in and told it so. Even then, it does not know anything about you, not your birthday, where you live, and any private information unless you told it so. Is it listening to me? No way. ChatGPT does not have ears. It does not listen through your microphone or spy on your conversations. It's just text on a screen. You type something in, it replies, that's it. Is this a scam? ChatGPT itself is not a scam. But like anything else online, scammers are around and they can pretend to be. That's why you should only use the official site at chat.openai.com. If a site is asking you for money or seems suspicious in any way, trust your gut and back out. Hello, pardon the interruption. If you're enjoying what you're seeing and hearing, can you please just take a tiny moment and tap on the like button, the subscribe button, if you know someone that can make use of this video, the share button. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you. Now let's get back to it. So what is ChatGPT really? It is a helpful assistant, like a really smart pen pal. You type something in, a question, a request, or even a silly joke, and it replies with a helpful response. That's it. No spying, no snooping, no need to be afraid. So now, Let's be very clear what ChatGPT cannot do. So now let's be very clear about what ChatGPT doesn't do. It doesn't collect your banking or any financial info. It doesn't read your emails. It doesn't scan your computer. It doesn't listen on your microphone and it does not share your chat with anyone. It's totally private. You're always in control. If you ask it, what can I make with canned tuna? It gives you recipe ideas. It does not sneak on onto your grocery list. Here are five simple safety tips while using ChatGPT and other AI tools. Always make sure you're using the official website at chat.openai.com. Refrain from sharing any personal info, such as names, addresses, and definitely no passwords. Keep your prompts high level and general if you can. Something like, help me write a thank you note. It's just perfect. If possible, log out when you're done. And if something feels off, trust your instincts, follow your gut, double check, and back out if you need to. 
Okay, now let's take a look at three real life safe examples that you can try today. Example one, let's do a grocery help prop. Try something like this. Create a shopping list for a week of meals using canned beans, rice, and frozen vegetables. In just a few seconds, ChatGPT gave us a complete shopping list that we can take to the store based on what we gave it. Let's take a quick look. We got some cans of beans with diced tomatoes, some corn, coconut milk and some tomato paste, rice and different types of frozen veggies and some seasonings. And based on all that, it gave us meal ideas for the full week, like we asked for. Burritos, stir fries, some curry. And if we need recipes, all we do now is ask it for it. No personal information was shared. Everything is safe. Let's try another. For this one, let's try this prompt. Write a fun message to send to my teenage daughter who loves Taylor Swift. And in just moments, we got a fun Taylor Swift centric message you can send to your, your granddaughter. And there are some references to some of her songs, like here and here, and some of her lyrics, and even references Easter, because at the making of this video, Easter is upcoming. If we want to personalize it, we can follow these prompts and give it whatever you want. Again, safe, nothing is shared. Let's try one more. We love traveling on this channel, so give this prompt a try. Plan a relaxing five-day trip to Portugal with simple sightseeing and local foods. Who doesn't love that? In no time at all, we'll get exactly what we asked for. Let's take a look. Here's a five-day itinerary that focuses on sightseeing, local foods, minimal travel because we asked for a relaxing trip and some local culture. Keep in mind, it doesn't know anything about us because safety is first here. But it's assuming that we're going to arrive at Lisbon, which is a big city in Portugal. And it gives you a day-to-day -day relaxed itinerary of what to do with meal ideas and leisurely strolls. Again, since we did not give it any information about who we are, what our budget is, our age, or anything like that, it, it gave us something very, very general, but altogether remarkably useful. It's helpful and creative and no personal data required. We take day trips, places to eat, spend time next to the beach. Very nice. Now, do you see how easy and safe it was to use? But hey, I get it. Tools like ChatGPT and other AI tools are new and can be intimidating. So now I'm going to give you three additional red flags that you might want to watch out for. If a website says download ChatGPT, you don't have to do that. You use ChatGPT directly from your web browser, such as Google Chrome or Apple Safari. If a site asks for your money right away, walk away. You can completely use ChatGPT for free as long as you want. No lock icon in your browser. Some sessions between you and ChatGPT exist in a safe, secure, encrypted session. And that should have a lock icon on the top of your browser. Not always, but this is a red flag that you should watch for. And as always, trust your gut. If it feels fishy, believe in your instinct and walk away. Okay, let's recap what we learned today. ChatGPT is very safe to use if we just follow some simple rules. Do not share any private information. Always stick to the real, authentic website. And above all, always trust your instincts. I know you got this. You do not need to be a tech expert to use this amazing tool. 
Being curious and cautious is a good thing. And now I have a gift for you. Everything that we have talked about today, I've created in a free, easy to use, downloadable PDF file. You can find the link to download it in the description below. I'll put it at the very top so it's easy to find. Again, it's free and there are sections for you to even take notes on as you try this new amazing tool. If this video helped you, please click the like button, the subscribe things, and share with your friends. And let me know in the comments below what you plan to try with ChatGPT first after watching this. Thank you for being here. And remember, at any age, you can learn anything. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.